guys, it's Teenage DC Fan back in another video, and in this week's episode of Arrow, um, we got to see Oliver and Laurel, um, they find themselves stuck in an alternate reality, um, and a lot happens. So, anyway, let's dive right in th into this episode, titled Reset, um, which ends up starting off with Oliver and Laurel trapped in a time loop alternate reality in which Quentin didn't die. And this isn't the first time Arrow has pulled the alternate reality card on his characters. Most notably the show did this in the in the um in the one hundredth episode, which saw the Dominators place Oliver and company in a world in which the Queen's Gambit never went down and thus he never became the Green Arrow. Whereas that episode was about Oliver and friends realizing the fight never ends, Reset is kind of about the opposite in an ex unexpectedly beautiful way. So the episode begins with a stunned Oliver waking up on the couch of his Star City apartment, right as Mia, Connor, and William cheerfully return home with some big belly burger, of course. And the lack of angst should have been Oliver's first clue that something wasn't right. Even though the last thing he remembers is being tranquilized by Lila, he nevertheless goes with it and heads off to some fundraiser at the Palmer Tech building. There, he runs into Diggle and Lila, who claims that she's actually a double agent and working against the Monitor. Ramsey's use of long ta takes here heightens the sense that there is something wrong with this world. As Oliver makes his way through the party, he eventually runs into the mayor, Quentin Lance. And just Oliver's face conveys the sadness and confusion that he feels after seeing his fallen ally. And their reunion, though, gets interrupted by a hostage situation at the precinct. So Oliver suits up and joins Quentin and Dinah on the scene. He infiltrates the precinct and dis disarms the mercenary as Quentin distracts him. But then a hidden bomb goes off and everything fades to white. And then Oliver wakes up right back where he started on a couch. And so reset continues like this with um with Oliver trying to find new ways um to try and save Quentin, because in each of these different, um, I don't know what you call it, but anyway, Quentin dies in all of them. So, unfortunately for them, no matter how much they try, they can't stop Quentin from dying, which is hard for both of them to watch over and over again. So how can they make it out of this labyrinth of suffering? So on a later loop, Oliver, Laurel, and Quentin track down the mercenaries targeting Quentin to an abandoned warehouse. But Quentin gets shot in the firefight. As Oliver continues fighting some mercenaries, Laurel tends to Quentin's fatal wound, which gives her something she's been dying for, a chance to say goodbye. This is not only her opportunity to make peace with Earth 1's Quentin's death, but also Earth 2's, and Katie Cassidy and Paul Blackthorne deliver heart-wrenching performances in this moment. I was actually surprised by how much wanted to see them get get this connection and closure and it turns out turns out that what Laurel needed to experience to be free is this and then she gets out so then the next time the reality resets she go she's gone in in the penultimate loop Lila flat out tells Oliver how to win he, he needs to stop fighting and accept the inevitable. Stubborn as always, Oliver ignores her and buckles down on saving Quentin. The two of them eventually return to the warehouse where Quentin died earlier and end up fighting their way through more mercenaries and a stunning owner. This time around, though, Quentin realizes that maybe he should stop trying to escape death and simply give in. And so he does. Giving in, that that's a rather new concept for Oliver, which is why this entire time loop was designed as a learning experience. On the next go-around, Oliver follows Quentin's lead, 
and accepts that Quentin will die. By doing so, Oliver also makes peace with the fact that he's going to die in crisis, because Oliver was holding out hope he could avoid death, which adds more layers to his quest to find a weapon that could kill Marno Vu. Lila and Marno Vu needed Oliver to recognize that that's not possible. A part of me wishes the episodes leading up to his up to this had hinted a bit more that Oliver still hadn't reached the final stage of grief, but I mean it still works here emotionally. Now what I particularly liked about this lesson though is how it works on a meta level too. In the same way that Oliver must make peace with his fate, the same goes for Arrow fans. Arrow is ending and we just have to accept that, even though television has ta taught us that things never end. Once Oliver learns his lesson, he and Laurel wake up and find themselves on Lee and Yu with Diggle, Connor, Mia, and William. Apparently, this is where their last mission will occur. Does the episode explain what the nature of that alternate reality was? Well, I mean, not really. And I'm glad it doesn't, because that's not the point. The purpose of the episode was Oliver's emotional journey. And I'm glad that the scripts let the mystery be when it comes to the how of the time loop. Um, now, a few other things I would like to mention is that before exiting the time loop, Lila tells Oliver that she's been working with the Monitor for a long time and lied about it to protect her family. And also, this episode reminded me that I wish I could have gotten an episode that really focused on Oliver and Lila's relationship. Um, w one of my favorite low-key moments in the season 3's The Brave and the Bold, when Oliver and Lila quote Amanda Waller to each other. Um, a moment of recognition. So, like, if, if they, I feel like if they develop the relationship between them, t those two more, then it would have made the betrayal or, like, shocking surprise, you know, more shocking and more emotional. Um, but I, I don't know where we're gonna go from here. Because this next episode, even though there's two more episodes of Arrow after Crisis, think of this next episode of Arrow as the, season, the series finale. Because if, well, Air, Green Arrow, Oliver Queen, will most likely die in Crisis. So if he dies in Crisis, then those two episodes after Crisis, they won't have Oliver. Um... So this next episode will be the last, the final regular episode of Arrow. And that's really sad to see, but all good things must come to an end. And this thing has come to an end. So what do you hope will happen before this series ends? Post your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hope to see you in the next video, so I can bestow all my decent knowledge upon you.